Okay, you're going to get chlamydia. You're going to. Uh. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It's Marsha Love Money. So, before I get started with the video, I just wanted to say, like, I had to take a week off of recording for personal reasons. Um, my great aunt passed away, rest in peace, Aunt Pearl. Um, my family has took a lot of losses within the last two years, so I'm kind of like numb about it. But at the same time, it just feels completely unfair because like we just buried three family members pretty much at the same time. So it's just like a lot. So I had to take a step back and really get myself together. Um, besides that, like I know, sorry, I know I just did like a mental health check but like i think i need another one because i'm just going through a bunch of other things i'm just frustrated and confused and it's really hot in the house right now but whatever so there's just a there's just a number of things going on so just bear with me i'm going to get back on schedule more videos are going to be coming out more stuff has been happening i got more stories like it i'm going to be fine <laughs> don't worry about me i'm going to be fine okay so um yeah with that being said the video that i want to do today is 15 tips for college um i started out with 10 tips but then i realized there's so much more that y'all need to know about college um and this could be used for people i mean this could be for people that are already in college or people like fresh out of high school whatever whatever because i know like this were they yeah so high school students that graduated in 2020 like spring 2020 they would this would be their freshman year of college so i mean it's not really the same as it would normally be because of because of corona so i'm gonna give y'all some tips keep in mind i was in college for five years i'm about to be done in a month and 24 days so there's that and then also keep in mind that when i was in college i was in a relationship for three, three and a half of those years yes so a lot of the stuff that i will give you a tip on is basically what i've just learned by like being around people um and some of my some stuff i learned on my own but whatever or stuff that i just observed let's get right into it also i'm wearing my college um so you're at university to rock your new lives so yeah all right so i got 15 tips for y'all they're in no order based off importance just take these tips into consideration okay number one uh a lot of people try to go to the same university as like their best friend like you think your uh friend you're out that you graduate high school with is like your best friend for the rest of your life and like sometimes it is but i would recommend not living with your friends from high school what you need to do you need to go live with a random roommate and then your friend can live with a random roommate and then y'all could just link up because things change when you live with your friends i haven't seen girls come up to this school and fall out with their best friend switch up on their best friend fight their best friend like because they move with them and it's just completely different like y'all need to live apart maybe y'all can live together like y'all second year there so there's that number two don't be afraid to change your major two times three times four times five times not five times but don't be afraid to change your major like when you're fresh out of high school we're all confused like because i changed my major twice uh and my, my best friend changed her major like three times there's people i know that change their major like five plus times so don't be afraid to change your major also keep in mind like you're paying for this like 50k plus so if this isn't what you want to do change it it's yours Tip number three, um, branch out and be friends with people that you normally wouldn't hang around. I mean that as like, maybe you're a crim major, maybe you should go hang out with some of the people from science majors or English majors. Like be friends with people that aren't really like you. You know, like um, you really like college, the most the biggest thing is like networking. Like you wanna meet people from different states, different backgrounds. Um, so like when you graduate and you may need a job, maybe that person from your science class that you linked up with and connected with can help you get a job, you know what I mean? So just don't stay secluded to just what you know. Branch out, 
um, do different things, meet different people, and just come out of your shell. And it's going to be difficult. But when you start to go to college classes, there have been so many people. You go to um, your college classes. I didn't think I would talk to anybody, but like most of my classes, I talked to a bunch of different people and they were all different from me and I became friends with them and I'm still friends with them today. Branch out, don't stay excluded. All right, number four, this kind of goes with that too. And that's just make connections. So make connections within your major, make connections outside of your major, make connections in, yeah, just make connections in different departments. Like just branch out, join clubs, go to different meetings, um, pay attention to the emails that your university sends you. Like Slippery Rock sends us like SRU communication and it has a list of things that are going on for the week or the month, like different events and stuff. Like go to that. Like, and even if you have to go by yourself, you can meet someone there, someone new, someone different than you. So make sure you branch out and connect with other people. That's so important. Don't leave college with no connections. Even if it's a professor or a counselor or the lady that served coffee at the day in the library, connect with somebody. All right, four, I mean five. <laughs> Don't be afraid to ask for help. This is my biggest thing and I am still, I still ask for help when I need it. But I'm paying for all these resources that the university does offer. So they have like a counseling center, you can get um, tutoring, um, you can get one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Uh, there's some other stuff you could do, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's so many resources on campus and sometimes, like college is not easy and it's a lot different than high school and you're up there all by yourself, you're not with your family or people that you're close with. And you can really struggle, the classes are not easy, like not easy. First classes that I've taken three times over, like it's hard, but like professors get paid to help you and teach you. These counselors get paid to help you. So take advantage of that because regardless, you're paying for it every semester. Definitely, definitely ask for help. Raise your hand, stay after class. Another thing, you should definitely introduce yourself to your professors. That's gonna make you stand out. And it's also gonna give you that extra, those extra points when it's like the end of semester and you really, really want an A, but you have like an 88, so that would be a B. So you have like an 88 and if you go to your professor like, hey, like look, like, I really need to get an A for whatever reason. Like, is there any extra credit? Um, is there any way you can give me a little push? And more than likely they will because you connected with them on the first date and they know that you're very serious about this class. So, and you're great. So make sure y'all do that as well. Number six, don't go to parties alone. Don't ever go to a party by yourself, especially if you're a female. Males, don't go to a party alone either. Whenever you go to a party, make sure that you have at least one person that you feel comfortable with, um, won't leave you, um, and you have a fun time with. But just don't go to parties by yourself. It can be very, very dangerous, especially in a neighborhood that you're not familiar with. Make sure you don't do that. My first year at Black Slippery Rock, I went to a party alone, and the, these people there kept asking me if I wanted, like, it was like a frat party. Asked me if I, if they could like get me a drink and stuff like that. I'm like, no. Keep in mind, I transferred university, so I was a little bit more mature. So they was not about to get over on me. I'm about to get over on me. I don't want to drink, sir. So, don't go to parties alone. All right, seven. Never leave your friends at a party. If you leave your friends at a party, you're probably one of the worst people on this planet. Period. Like, don't do that. Like, when I first came to Slip, I had. I had a big group of friends and they were, some of them were so annoying when we went out to parties, but we would never leave them. Me and Carly, we would never, Carly my best friend, we would never leave them. No matter how annoying they were, we made sure like, if we're leaving, you're coming with us, period. Anybody that I go to a party with, I'm leaving with them too. Don't ever leave your friend. Don't ever leave your friend for a dude. Don't ever leave your friend for somebody else. Like, don't ever leave your friend for a rat. Make sure your friend is cool because that could be reciprocated because you might be stuck in a party and um something could happen to you like it's not safe all the time so never play that way. okay number eight stay away from sports team players especially football they don't have nothing okay i'm not gonna talk about all of them but most of them 
Her head is so big because they're you not know, football team. They can do whatever they want. They can get whatever girl they want. Girls stay away from the football team. They have chlamydia. Okay, you're going to get chlamydia. You're going to uh, like all the girls that I know that have been messing with sports players. It just has not went well ever. It's because like girls just throw themselves with these football players. They think they're all going to the NFL. And I don't know why the people, a lot of dudes are so rough that they all go to the NFL because they're not. <laughs> for football players you could text them you know hype your head up but do not drop your draws for these dudes please don't y'all don't do it so yeah you heard it in verse know that number nine go out every weekend who cares you only get to go to college one time for real this is like your last little bit of freedom until real life really hits you and you gotta pay all these bills and you gotta get a real job and it's just it's real ghetto y'all it's very much ghetto. go out every weekend who cares if somebody got something to say with it that's their problem like go out have fun live your life live your best life all right number 10 find hobbies or a part-time job i know college may seem like it's going to fill up all your schedule i mean all it's going to take up all your time but it's really not and i just broke my phone um yeah, it may seem like college is going to take up all your time, but it is really, really not. You're going to find yourself having a lot of, like, in-between time and time where you're just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I was just watching Netflix all day. Because that's what I did. Like, my first semester, I was still getting used to being at a bigger university, having a set schedule and not having to, like, go to class and go to work type thing. So I found myself having all this free time, and we would just lollygag and find things to do. But I, eventually, I picked up a job, and, um... I picked up some hobbies as well like we would go to like zumba we would go to yoga sometimes when i felt like it or we would just get in the, get into stuff so make sure you find something that can take up that in between time because you don't want to be in class all day and go home and study all night like no go do something where you meet new people have fun um get familiar with the campus get familiar with people around you and just live your life have fun that's the most important okay number 11 take advantage of all opportunities so universities they um they advertise a lot of different opportunities going on on campus i think i mentioned this a little bit earlier but um make sure you take advantage of anything that you're given like our university this one time they took us to kalahari that was lit um we went on um, they took us like ice skate and they were saying people to like uh, baseball games and all different types of events. There's so much on these campuses because these campuses have so much money and a lot of times they probably don't know what to do with it. So they throw out these events. So make sure you keep your eye open for different things that are going on on campus. So there's probably some chances to win some money, some free stuff, take a trip. Like it's just a bunch of stuff that goes on on campuses and just make sure you keep your eye open for that. Okay, number th no number 12 kind of goes with 11 pretty much you just utilize campus resources like i said pay attention be aware look at the flyers check your email um listen to what your professors are saying what other people are talking about pay attention and get yourself involved in some stuff all right number 13 very 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 important so make sure y'all listen to this one if you are going to engage in sexual activity at a university make sure you are protected um slippery rock at our uh what's it called health center they sell condoms they sell plan b's um there's a limit on plan b's i heard someone say that they reached their limit on plan b's like college is wild like girl how many plan b's did you have anyway so they got condoms plan b's you can get tested for stds um they'll test you for all stds i think they charge you like i don't know if it's free or if they charge it your account because honey i never had to do that but um yeah most of that stuff is it's probably like five dollars i don't know but um make sure that you are protected because like i said these people have chlamydia because everybody's sleeping with everybody and he's sleeping with her she's sleeping with him he's sleeping with her like it's just a lot um, it's a messy it's a whole lot a lot so just make sure you're protected because <clears throat> you can get something that'll be stuck with you forever so be careful be safe even if your parents don't tell you i'm telling you be careful <laughs> number 14 make sure that you find and apply to as many grants and scholarships that you can if you go on google 
type in scholarships so much stuff will pop up you may have to write a little essay you may have to need some type of qualifications but there's so much free money out there you don't, really don't have to do much for literally two of my semesters at college because i um was looking for grants and scholarships two of my semesters all my books got paid for one of my semesters i got like an extra two thousand dollars every semester i got like an extra thousand dollars so yeah take advantage of that there's so much money out there that they don't tell you about because they want you to have to struggle and pay out of pocket and ask your parents for money and that 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 but stay woke y'all there's money out there i'm telling you look for the money and even if your tuition is always paid off you could get you could apply for these scholarships because you don't have to pay scholarships back and that money can go to your pocket like <laughs> scammer vibes apply for scholarships Number 15, last one, make sure overall that you have fun, you enjoy your college experience, you meet new people, you network, you get good grades, you go party, you may meet the love of your life, um, maybe meet your best friend because the only thing I got, the only good thing I got out of college is my best friend. <laughs> but yeah, like your college years are supposed to be your best years. My college years were my best years besides my last year because corona and that really sucks but um overall i've had so much fun in college i met so many different people from so many different places all over all over the world pretty much and i know that once i do graduate there's still some solid friendships that i will have so maybe i could travel to their city or maybe they could come to my city you feel me just have fun y'all this is the last time you will ever be able to have this much freedom i'm telling y'all this much freedom and make the best of it pretty much so that's all that i have for y'all today um i don't know what day i'm uploading this i think i'm uploading on friday but the funeral is on friday so um, i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let y'all know either way y'all gonna see this so y'all already know what it is y'all already know what it ain't and i will see y'all in my next video and i'm sorry to keep y'all waiting but y'all know sometimes you just gotta take a step back take a step back but yeah i will see y'all in my next video and y'all stay beautiful and y'all stay blessed y'all already know what it is